And now, ladies and gentlemen, bedlam reigning supreme here in our press conference booth. We have finally managed to bring Mr. Rock and Roll to our microphone, the number one guy in the nation. And we're delighted to once again talk to Elvis. Elvis, just about this time last year, we brought you to our microphone. We certainly want to welcome you back in no uncertain terms. We want to commend you for the magnificent job you've done and for the wonderful job you're doing tonight on this benefit. Well, thank Welcome you very on. much. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure to be back, really. Elvis, uh, let me ask you this now. How did this, uh, how did the uh, Youth Center benefit get started? Well, uh, we had the idea last year when I was down here for it, and uh, since Tupelo hasn't got anything like that, I don't, I, I don't think, have they? No, they haven't. Uh, well, we thought it would be a terrific idea, and I'm certainly glad that I could be a part of it, and uh, and I hope that it's, it's a big success, and if there's anything I can do to help it, I'll be glad to. Well, Elvis, I know that um, just uh, you starting this and getting it inspired is going to be a tremendous monument to Tupelo, to you, and to the wonderful youngsters of our town. Let me ask you this now. You've just completed a motion picture called Jailhouse Rock. And you've got a couple of records out uh, from that motion picture. Mr. Parker told us uh, already the sales of over, um, I think he said a million and a half, didn't he? Yes, sir, that's right. That's uh, pretty phenomenal. Let me ask you this now, Elvis. What do you consider to be the best record that you've made so far? Don't be cruel. You think that's your best record? Yes, sir. You like it better than the rest of them? I, I, I've tried several times to top it, and I haven't been able to so far. <laughs> How do you feel about rock and roll, Elvis? Do you think that rock and roll is uh, on a steady incline, so to speak, or do you think perhaps uh, it's beginning to wear off a little bit? I, I personally don't think that it will ever die completely out. Uh, I'm not talking about me, understand, but I'm talking about rock and roll itself. It's been around a long time. I don't, I'll, well, I'll say this. In, in order for it to die out, they're going to have to get something mighty good to take its place. You don't think that's uh, I don't, on the horizon? I don't, I don't think they've got anything right now, no. Well, Elvis, uh, you bought yourself a new home in Memphis now. How much time do you get to spend in that home? Not too much. Just you spend a great deal of time in Hollywood? Uh, I'm probably there more than I am at home, yes. Have any plans for another picture? Uh, I'll make two. The first one in November the 6th, and the next one after the first of the year. Have you had a chance to look at the script as yet? No, sir, I haven't. Don't know what it's going to be about. I really don't. Well, let me ask you this now, getting kind of personal. It might be here. who shot John, for all I know. Well, it wasn't I, I can assure you that. But, uh, it'll be a good name for a picture of Who shot John? <laughs> Ellis, how about this young lady you have here with you now, Miss Anita Woods? Can you tell us a little bit about her? Would you get uh, a comment, uh... Well, she's uh, female. <laughs> that we can see. No, uh, I met Anita when she came to Memphis uh, to do a, uh, a weekly TV show there, and I've been dating her quite a bit. Uh, Just, uh, would you say that uh, there's the possibility that... No, sir, I wouldn't. <laughs> well, you didn't give me a chance to ask. I know what you were going to ask. Well, yeah, but I mean, give me a chance to ask it. I won't ask it. Never mind. Okay. How about that ring now that you gave Anita? Or may we uh, uh, comment on that? Well, it Third was thing just, right hand, isn't it? Yes, right hand. lovely ring. It, it, it's just a, a, a kind of a friendship ring. I saw it in Hollywood, and I you know, I thought it was pretty, and Anita thought it was real, real pretty, so I got it for her. Well, how about um, this? Uh, I know a great many teenagers. There's 10,000 of them out here tonight. They, they love you, Elvis. Have you got any advice you'd like to pass along to the teenagers? Uh, I know they'll take advice from you firsthand. We know it's a great many of the highway patrol are here tonight. Would you like to give us a statement concerning uh, safety, for instance, that teenagers might keep in mind? Uh, yes, I would. Uh, I did a, a show last week in Memphis uh, on, on safety, and uh, I, I said that uh, uh, although an automobile is probably uh, the greatest invention known to man, it can easily take your life away if it's misused. And all of the young people have got a, a whole life ahead of them, a life of happiness and everything to look forward to. And uh, I see no reason why they should... Uh, take chances with an automobile because they can't kill you real quick like yeah. thank you very much for that Elvis one more thing now uh, what are your plans as to possibly returning to Tupelo again this is your second year here now on the roll or are you looking forward uh, to your second return as much as you did the first I, sh I, w I, I w well, probably more uh, because we had such a wonderful time here last year till, uh, uh, I was really looking forward to coming back well, Elvis, we're certainly delighted to have you again. Let us commend you on this remarkable thing that you have done and the su tremendous success you've had. And for getting this Tupelo Youth Center benefit here tonight, it's going to be a tremendous boost to our town and to our young people. And we certainly want to thank you. Thank you, thank very, you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.